<laughs> the Sopranos follows the life of New Jersey mob boss Tony Soprano and all the issues and problems he has to face as boss of a mob family and head of his household. His relationship with his uncle Junior is a delicate one. Originally rivals for the big seat in season 1, Tony willfully steps aside to allow Junior to take the throne and, as a byproduct, all the law enforcement attention that comes with it. Junior eventually puts out a failed hit on Tony when he finds out his nephew is running things behind his back. Tony plans to return the favour but the feds get to Junior, sparking a lengthy RICO case where Junior is under house arrest for much of the show and he feigns mental deterioration to throw the authorities off. Time more or less mends the relationship between Tony and Junior but things become complicated for all when it appears that Junior's actual mental state begins to deteriorate. He becomes forgetful, paranoid, depressed and talks about dead people as if they are still alive and those around him, Tony in particular, are not sure how much is real and how much is an act. Somewhere in and amongst this is a deleted scene from the show where Junior's paranoia is on full display. I did plan to do a video looking at the deleted scenes of the show but this one stuck out quite a bit so I did a separate video for it. On its own it's pretty funny and weird but within the context of the show it just goes too far and undermines Junior as a character I feel. So it's only around 30 seconds long, Junior stares at his Korean neighbour's car asking whose it is and then saying they want to see me dead. Tony just kind of appears and we cut to Uncle June looking absolutely ridiculous holding a baby as a human shield before getting into his car. Being allowed to hold Bobby's baby as a shield, I might add, in front of Bobby, Janice and Tony. And nobody even seems to take any notice, they just roll with it. It's just so stupid really, it's funny to see it as an isolated thing and it's only about 30 seconds long. Then again, Grandpa De Niro stomping on a grocer and the Irishman was only 30 seconds and that's what everybody brings up when they're roasting the film. It's just too dumb, you know. Junior is a goofy guy, he's idiotic and petty at times. And at others, he's poignant, wise and profound. The show is really good at keeping everything at a balance with Junior. He's never too dumb, too goofy, but here he is. Like, why would he even be holding a baby up in front of him as if he's just about to get Kennedy'd? The baby hardly covers Junior's massive glasses. Wouldn't it logically be better to tell the calzone with legs Bobby to walk in front of him if he wants to avoid getting sniped? And you might argue, well, maybe he's trying to avoid reporters, not an assassination. But how can you tell that from the way the scene is filmed? Look behind him. Those might be just the two black guys responsible for so many deaths in the show. Why not shove the baby in that direction? Just a poor scene all round really. Even the way it's framed is weird and flat. Right to the side of Junior's face in the beginning, with Tony swimming into the shot and then flat to the side as Junior gets out into the car. It's like a scene from a Wes Anderson film. It almost feels disrespectful to Junior. Say what you want about him, but the man had an element of integrity and self-respect. Real lack of standards, your generation. The scene would have undermined both him and the other three if they kept it in. Like, does this behaviour not worry you as Junior's carers? What is a baby going to even do to stop a bullet? You'll take out both you and the baby. You Sopranos, you go too far. And they came very close to doing so had they left this scene in the show. So what do you make of this scene? Do you think it comes off as a comedy sketch spoof of the show? Or do you think it should have been left in? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching. Before we finish, I'd just like to thank my patrons, Nicholas Curtis and Daniel P, and also my channel members, Michael Awatwi, Rikers, Damien Irving, Joe Grossberg, The New On Goam 24, Tristan Foss, and Lone Wanderer.